Hey everybody. So I'm here to teach you how to make a custom background. So on your screen um, in Microsoft Teams, you will know that they have all of these different um, settings. Um, a lot of you guys have been playing around with setting these backgrounds. So if you have this feature already, I'm going to walk you through how to do the tutorial using a Mac based computer. Um, if you are working on an iPad or a tablet, I believe what you'll have to do is go onto a computer and then um, try it from there. I haven't quite figured that version out yet. If I find out um, any tips or tricks, then I will let you know. But today I've got two videos. The first one was using um, a PC, so using Windows, and now we're using a Mac. So the, it's gonna be slightly different. Microsoft is working to add an easy add button. They just haven't done it yet. So we found a little workaround um, for you to be able to add something for our Poetry Cafe on Friday. So what if you have not been able to see where it says um, this button, show background effects, there's two problems that you might be having. One of the problems could be that you haven't downloaded the app yet and you're just going through the internet and that could be part of the problem. Um, or if you're on a tablet or something like that, I heard that there's still some issues with it right now. Um, we're we're going to try our best to, to figure it out. Um, we just got to be patient. You know, Microsoft is adding these new features and they're not 100% ready for everybody and some of our computers are not set right and we've got all those different things and problems. So in our math meeting tomorrow, if you want to play around with this and you want to try your own images, feel free to. Just make sure that they're appropriate. Make sure that they're... Um, you know, friendly and not going to offend anybody or hurt anybody's feelings or scare anybody or anything like that. You want to make sure that they're um, appropriate for school and things like that. But if you want to test it out tonight and, and try it out and see if it works for tomorrow, um, that will be an option that you can totally try. Um, and then we'll try to troubleshoot as many problems as we can. So I'm going to try my best to walk you through it. Um, I will link two things. I will link the code that you need as well as the article that I found this on. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to need to go to your um, connect to folder. So on Mac it's a lot different. On a PC you can just go to your computer and find it. Um, basically this is where you're going to end up going. So it's quite the 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 steps but there is a shortcut. So what you want to do is you want to go while you're in your, so on a Mac, we have all of these, these buttons down at our disposal. You want to go to Finder, and that's where you find all of your documents, all of your pictures, all of that stuff. So from here, you're going to go to the Go menu. So click to go, and then you're going to click Go to Folder. And basically, this link here, which I will forward and I will send to you, is going to shortcut that. So instead of having to click on all the different files, this is going to allow you to go straight to this folder and it's going to be in your library, application support, Microsoft Teams, backgrounds, and then it goes over to uploads as well. If you click go, it's going to shortcut you through having to go through all of those different folders that we were just talking about. So this is the one that I had just added. Let's say I want to add a new one. So I'm going to go, let's say I searched and I saw this one that I liked. I was searching for poets. I was searching for cafes. I was searching for restaurants. I was searching for stages, things like that, because that's what we're going to be practicing um, is our poetry cafe. So we want to make sure that it's in line with the theme for Friday. So let's say I like this image. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click, oh, this one doesn't have it. So sometimes you'll run into that problem where it doesn't have the image. So what I want to do is when I click on it, sometimes it will bring me to a website. And then from there, we can right click and open the image in a new tab. Sometimes we don't want to click on those pictures though. So try to find one that will allow you to say, and this one doesn't either. Oh my goodness. Uh, they want you to go to their pages. <laughs> okay, so let's just go. Um, we'll go back to the one that we were just on. Click that, and then you want to right click, copy image, or save image. I'm going to save my image, and I want to save it to my desktop. So it's already set to save to my desktop for me, or I can click desktop over here, and I'm just going to save it right to the desktop. Once I go back to the folder, so I left the folder open, that uploads folder that you just shortcut to, and here's my picture here. Now, 
one of the things that you're going to, it's going to say, do you want to remove it? Yes, it's basically moving it from the desktop into this folder. So I'm going to hit move and that's fine. Um, one of the things that as I was looking at this is this picture is 400 by 250. It's, which means that it's a small picture. So what you really want to do if you want to get super fancy and high tech with it is you want to click on tools and you want to change your size to be large. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that you have a better picture, um, higher quality. It's not going to be blurry, that sort of thing. But if you're not worried about that, no need to be. So then once I have it uploaded to the folder, minimize this again. There it is. So I've got my cafe and I've got my microphone. When I go back into Teams, you're going to click the X if that's still open. Click your three dots, show background effects. If you scroll down to the bottom, it should be there. You can see one of those images that wasn't working right. So if we click that, now I've got my giant microphone that I can talk into when I share my poems. So that's a little tutorial um, on how to do it from a Mac. Again, you need to have the Microsoft Teams app. So not just through the website. Um, and then you need to pull up that code again. Here's the code. Again, I will copy that and share that in the comments. What you're going to go back to is you go back to Finder. Start from the beginning. Go back to Finder. Go. Go to Folder. Copy and paste that in there. And there you go. You're exactly where you need to be to add whatever pictures you want. Um, one of the things that I am noticing is that it's not translating from computer to computer, but that could just mean that it needs to take a little while. Um, it should save them to your account in your um, setting, but it could just be saving to the account on the device that you're currently on. So what's saved on this device might not be saved on my other device, if that makes sense. Um, so that's just a fun way to practice for Friday, um, just to make it a little something extra, a little something fun um, to help make our cafe feel like a cafe. And if you have any um, trouble with it, it is a process that I would probably get an adult to help you with. It's copying and pasting. I know you guys can do it. It's just how to troubleshoot it and things like that can be difficult um, without an adult's help. So um, I will post that code in the bottom and um, if there are any questions, please let me know and have fun exploring different backgrounds and things like that. And hopefully we'll see some fun ones tomorrow. Hmm.